Hello and welcome to my home. Today I'm going to give you an August update and tour of my garden. But before we go there, I want to let you know I have other types of videos on my channel. I have easy to prepare recipes, product reviews, meditation videos, and other videos on growing a variety of vegetables and containers. So let's go check out that tour. So here's a view as I come out of my patio. Now those of you who have been following know that I had a storm, a really bad storm in this neighborhood and it took out this really tall tree that was in this spot and took down the fence along with it. So that's why you see that big hole and you kind of see into my neighbors. And it did destroy some of my plants but some of them survived. So let's go over and look at where the damage So the tree was laying all over this spot. But surprisingly, some things did survive. You see my eggplant right here survived with some blooms on it. Pretty little purple blooms. This eggplant was leaning all the way over. It's the biggest of them. And it, before the storm and before the tree fell on it, because this took a direct hit from the tree, I had a lot of blooms. Those blooms have disappeared. And I did have a little baby eggplant that apparently got lost in the storm as well. This is the big purple eggplant. So I'm hoping, I propped it back up. So I'm hoping that it will come back and bloom some more and give me some delicious eggplant. Now this is one of the pepper plants. The tree was laying on this too. I just propped it back up. And I'm hoping to get some bell peppers. We'll see. Now, I lost quite a few bell peppers. Um, for example, this has some really nice tall bell peppers in there. I don't even know where the plants went. They weren't in there when the guys removed the tree. So, they either got wrapped up in the tree and pulled out when they were cutting it, or it blew away. Who knows? But I don't have any in the Domatia plant which got some damage on there but I'm thinking I can salvage this one salvage this one and this is really long it grew long while I was laying under that tree that tree was down for about two three weeks so it kept growing it just was growing on the ground it has some blooms on it so maybe I can get something out of there now this is my blueberry it is really, it didn't break as it got all these brown rusty spots on it. I'm thinking I'm going to have to cut this back. And since I planted, planted it as a bare root to begin with where it didn't have any green on it, I'm going to cut it back and winter it over. And hopefully in the spring I can get something out of it. My little raspberry, well... It, it's definitely it pretty much cut itself back it is like down to its last little nub and one little little limb barely hanging in there I think um, that also needs to be cut back and wintered over but all in all I give you a shot from this direction I didn't do too bad now my watermelon now this is the area where the fence fell over and unfortunately some of my watermelon vines got damaged that were in this pot and there were two in this pot they're completely gone again i guess they got ripped up and, and blown in the wind somewhere i do have one lone watermelon right here i got it in a protective covering for bugs but Maybe I can get one watermelon. This is a sugar baby watermelon. Now my tomato plants did pretty good. You'll see I have a bunch of tomatoes. I've been harvesting a lot of tomatoes. So I got all kinds. This is one of my better boy tomato plants. So it's doing pretty good. I'm going to do all my tomato plants and I'll come back to my cantaloupe. Some more tomato plants. I mean, I'm getting some good sized tomatoes on here. 
you see all these tomatoes right here. These, I believe, are my beefsteak tomatoes. This one has a little bit of that sun scald on there. But they're doing very well. Some more tomatoes back there. And I've already had my first bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. And it was yummy. Now my squash. My squash is, even though there's a lot of leaves and I've been getting squash off of here, it's starting to get a little bit of that. A little bit of that disease, that powdery mildew. Normally I would be spraying like crazy, but I think I only have a few, a few of the squash to get off. So I'm about ready to finish harvesting the rest of this and then um, reusing this container for maybe something else or I might put it up for the winter. Now here's the cantaloupe. The cantaloupe didn't get damaged, um, I'm happy to say. Here's one, and I have it in these little bags to help protect it from insects. And I got a bunch of little ones too. I got some more on this side. I need to get that one. I need to get that one into a, another bag. On this side, see if I can give you a better shot. I got one right there, and there's a little one growing right next to it. Here's another one on this side. Yeah, it's full of full of cantaloupes and a lot of flowers. I just scared off a bee. I'm sorry about that, Mr. Bee. Here's another shot of some tomatoes. I'm going to take you on the other side. Now here are my strawberries. This is like my third or fourth round of strawberries. They're starting to look a little a little tattered. I think I need to give them some need to feed them a little bit. This cucumber plant didn't do so hot. And I'm thinking some of that is storm related. Now here's an eggplant. This is my Chinese eggplant. And this was nowhere near the tree. This was over on this side. This is starting to get a little eggplant on it. And there's my basil. Some of my chives. Now the flowers in this plant didn't last too good during the storm. Now this is a lily that has already bloomed. This pot I've already transitioned to a fall and I have some um, little finger carrots planted in there. You can see they're starting to come up. Here's my cucumber plant. I got cucumbers coming on there. And these are my cherry tomatoes. They actually call red robins. Those are ready, some of those are ready to be picked and put into a nice little salad. This is another one of my strawberry plants. Nothing blooming on here. As far as strawberries, I'm hoping they'll give me another, another round of strawberries before the weather gets cool. And again, these are some containers where I'm starting to transition into my fall garden. But again, I'm going to be doing a, a separate video. So be on the lookout for that and how I'm going to, and what I'm going to plant. Uh, for the fall and how you can determine what the plant for the fall, uh, fall as well. And that's my tour. Now I think I did really good considering the storm and um, a lot of people in the neighborhood including myself. We had trees uprooted, fences uprooted, um, roof damage. So I'm happy that some of my plants survived. If you like that video, hit the thumbs up like button and consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. That's it for now.